everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I filmed this very green smoky eye, perfect for fall, and I used my new Urban Decay Vice 4 palette, of course. So excited, so if any of you have your hands on this palette, you'll know what to do with it. Um, but yeah, I used the entire palette on my eyes. Um, the only thing that's different is my inner corner highlight, but of course you can use whatever you'd like. Um, the only thing is, while I was filming this tutorial, right at the end when I finished, I wasn't able to film a um, like an ending because my camera had died and I had to go to work. So you'll see me in different clothes. These are my work clothes and I just kind of threw my hair up. I like this look, my lipstick isn't on anymore, but in the video you'll see it fresh and new and nice. Um, but yeah, I was at work. It's been probably about eight hours since I filmed the video that you guys are going to be watching. So I'm really sorry about that. I apologize. But the whole thing is there. Thank God I filmed it all. Um, and I just, I decided to do a talk through today instead of a voiceover. So I hope you guys enjoy the talk over. Let me know what you guys prefer if you want the talk over, like me talking throughout the video, or if you like the just kind of fast forwarded and voice over video. Yeah, just make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't, um, of course. <laughs> and, um, Without further ado, get we'll get right into the video, and we'll see you guys later in my next video. Bye. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. So let's get started in this look. Um, so first things first, I always go ahead and prime my lids. Um, I'm going to be taking Max Painterly Paint Pot, of course, and I'm just going to be taking that on my finger and just applying this on my lids. I'm going to be going ahead and using the new Vice 4 palette. I've been so excited to use this bad boy. I'm taking um, framed from the palette here. Just a very pale, neutral shade, and it matches perfectly for me. And I'm just going to be sweeping this all over the lid. Next, I'm going to go in with the color Bitter. It's the shade here. And I'm going to be taking that on a big fluffy brush, and I'm just going to be using that as my transition shade. I'm just going to be applying that right in the crease and just blend it upwards. Just going back and forth. I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and I'm going to be going in with the color C Note, which is this, applying this all over the center lid. Um, so once you have that patted on all over the lid, I'm going to go ahead and just brighten this color up. I'm going to be taking the color Grasshopper, which is right next to it. It's just a very pretty, um, true green. Um, just to kind of soften up that harsh line that we have there, I'm going to be taking this Japonesque um, 
crease brush. It's the um, number 836. It's kind of it's very similar to the Mac 217, um, just a little bit cheaper. But I'm gonna be taking the color Delete here. It's just a very dark brown, and I'm gonna be applying that right into the crease. And just blending back and forth, just softening up that line that we just made with that green. I'm going to be taking this smaller um, tapered blending brush and, and I'm going to be taking the color Low, which is just it's this color right here. It's kind of shimmer shade. I'm going to be popping this on the outer corner just to help darken up this look and give it a nice smoky effect. Once you're done applying your eyeshadow, just go ahead and take a makeup remover wipe or um, whatever you would prefer and just kind of clean up any fallout because you're going to have some. Just clean that up a bit. And if you want, you can sharpen up that line like I did here. Or you can just pick up any excess that you had fall down. And that completes that so far. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye real quick and then we'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back with the other eye finished. And I just went ahead and put my winged eyeliner on and my eyebrows as well just because... I need to see that. Um, but yeah, anyways, I just kind of went and did that off camera. So this is the finished eye look. We're going to add a little bit more stuff towards the end because I don't like to do that right now. I'll do it after my foundation. But anyways, so this is finished. Now I'm just going to go ahead and go in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I'm just going to apply a few coats of that to my lashes. Alright, so now I'm done with mascara, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the lashes. I'm just going to be taking my House of Lashes glue and applying them to my Coco Lashes in the Style Goddess. They are just like the House of Lashes iconic, but just half the price. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply those, and we will be right back. Alright, lashes are finally on. Now we're going to move on to the face. Um, I already went ahead and moisturized before starting this video. So, yeah, just make sure your skin is really moisturized and just let it soak in. I like to do it before I actually start my eye makeup so that way it really soaks into my skin. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and prime my face. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Prime. This is the Blur and Smooth Primer. And I'm just going to be applying this mainly in my T-zone area where I get really oily and I have a lot of little blackheads and all that stuff and I want to kind of just blur out and smooth as well as my smile line right here. I tend to have um, my foundation kind of sit in there sometimes if I don't have the appropriate primer on. So I like to just apply that here, up here. The next I'm going to be taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and prime the rest of my face. Just a few squirts of that. And just let that dry a little bit. And now I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I'm in the shade 104 Golden Beige. I'm just going to be squirting that on the back of my hand. Don't need too much. I'm running low. So I usually squirt about that much. And then I've been really loving a really dewy finish. So um, I went and picked up the sample size of the Josie Marin Pure Argan Oil Light. And I'm just going to squirt 
two drops of that into my foundation on the back of my hand. And it's just going to help give a uh, very like dewy finish to the skin. This is a very matte foundation, so I like to add this oil to it just to help give it a little bit of a dew. Just mix that up. I'm using on a uh, flat foundation brush. Once that's mixed up, I'm just going to go ahead and start applying this and dragging it down the neck so that way it blends in seamlessly. This color is my perfect match actually. So this is my favorite foundation to use right now because it is so perfect to my skin tone. Just keep dragging that down and just slowly building up. You're just going to want to go ahead and just swipe this on all over the face. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to go ahead and blend this out with my beauty blender eventually. Okay, now taking my damp beauty blender. I'm sorry that my tools are all dirty today. Um, I was just practicing with some stuff earlier and didn't feel like cleaning them. But anyways, let's go ahead and take the bottom of your beauty blender and just push that into your skin and just blend everything out. Just make sure you blend it down the neck as well because we did put some product on the neck. And then if you'd like, you can blend into your ear here. So that way, if you do wear your hair up, it doesn't look like a giant line right here before your ear. Now that that's all blended out, we're going to go ahead and go in with some concealer. And I'm taking my NYX HD Concealer and I am in the shade CW04 Beige. And this is what it looks like. It's just a little bit um, lighter than my actual skin tone. I'm just going to go ahead and take that and conceal my under eye. Put some right here on my Cupid's bow. Some on my chin. A little bit down the center of the nose and up here on the forehead. Now again, taking your beauty blender and I'm going to be taking this pointy end here and I'm just going to be blending that into the skin. And what I like to do with my concealer when I'm blending it out, I like to get really, really close to my lash, my lower lash line and just press that in as well as kind of go as close as I can to my winged eyeliner just to help kind of sharpen it out and make it look a little bit cleaner. So just press that out and then I like to bring it up this way towards my temples and then just blend the rest of it out down towards the face. Now once your concealer is blended in, I'm going to be going and setting my under eye. I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. small tapered brush. This brush was like $3 by the way, which is really, really awesome and it works amazing just to help set the under eye area. So I'm going to be taking my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I'm going to be taking a little bit of that and just setting my under eye. I'm going to be taking my Hula, my Hula bronzer from Benefit. I'm taking the brush that it actually came with 
It's like a little mini chiseled contour brush. There's a lot of little hairs coming out. I haven't used this yet. I'm going to use it today and see how this works. But I'm just going to go ahead, pack that on the brush. And for contouring, you want to go from the tip of your ear here and then kind of bring it down. That's kind of like a good guide. So you're going to take it right along the top of your ear and just bring it down. And then for me, I like to just blend it up a little bit so it's not just like a really harsh line there. I like to smooth things out. Just kind of blend that. I like to take it right about here. Again, on the same same thing on the other side, we're just going to bring it from the top of our ear and just go straight, straight down. Just go right here. Just bring it in about right here and then start blending it upwards. That we have that done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just bake underneath, just kind of sharpen up that line down there. I'm going to be taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. tapered brush. I'm just going to take that product. Don't take too much, because if you take too much, you might mess up. So I'm just going to press that, not necessarily sweeping. Just pressing that right underneath that contour line and just kind of straighten it out a bit and bring it all, a little bit past your contour line. So you're going to get this, it looks like this, and then just do the same process on the other side. So now that you have it like that, just go ahead and leave that. I'm going to leave this on my skin and just do the rest of my face and take this um, Real, Tech Real Techniques blush brush and I'm just going to bronze the rest of my face up with the same Hoola bronzer by Benefit. I'm just going to apply that right here on the hairline, along the hairline and right here up on your temples, right above the eyebrows and just leave that there. So you're going to want to go here and just kind of put in circular motions and bring it back as long along right here until you hit your contour okay and once you're done bronzing up the face this is just an optional optional step you don't have to but I like to just go ahead and bronze right underneath my chin here all right so moving on to the lower lash line I'm just gonna take this really small pointy brush really tiny I'm just gonna take that color bitter that we use as our transition shade and I'm gonna be applying that to the lower lash line Now that we have that smoked out, I'm going to be taking that color Delete, that really dark brown shade. I'm just going to kind of focus, the, focus this more towards the lash line instead of smoking it out so far. I'm just going to kind of bring that in halfway from the, the end towards the middle here. Just going to kind of bring that in halfway. All right, and now for the inner corner highlight, we're going to take that same brush. Just make sure you clean it off. And I'm going to be taking Kat Von D's um, Thunderstruck. It's her new Metal Crush eyeshadow line. This is in the shade Thunderstruck. 
It's just a very opaque white. I'm just gonna apply that heavily to the inner corner. And go in with any kind of mascara. I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I just think this really separates the lashes very well. Makes them look really nice and long. Okay. Now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and wipe away any excess powder that we have. So just taking that same brush and just swiping it away, any of that excess powder, since it's done baking. Okay, and now we have our nice chiseled cheek. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my face. I'm gonna be using that same eyeshadow, the Kat Von D Thunderstruck eyeshadow, and apply that as my highlight, cause it's so beautiful, you guys. You're not gonna believe this. You would think, yeah, right, like an eyeshadow. Just, it's really, really pigmented, so I suggest like dabbing it and then tapping off any excess. But as you can see, just the lightest amount that I had on my brush, look at how intense that highlight is. And of course me, I like to have a really intense highlight, so I'm just going to keep doing the same thing. I'm just going to dab and then dab off, uh, tap off any excess and then just keep reapplying layers and layers. But look at that, that's so beautiful. I love it. Do that same thing on the other side. Just set my face and then go in right after with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is my sample size. I think I'm running out. I want to go get the bigger one. Let's just spray a few squirts of that on top. And now to finish the look, I'm going to go ahead and do my lips. I'm going to be taking Max Velvet Teddy. This is a matte lipstick. Yeah, it's a matte lipstick. And it's just a very, like, deep brown, like, mauve brown shade. I did already put some lip balm on my lips in the beginning of this video. I forgot to mention that. Sorry. But, um, yeah, just go ahead and take this lipstick. I'm not going to line my lips at all. I don't like lining my, my lips too much because I feel like, I don't know, it just looks fake and weird on me personally but you're just gonna go ahead and apply that 